That's right, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Hi, this is Aston from the Freestylers, and you're listening to... Was it? Oh, sorry. Toasted. Yeah, and is, is there like a fresh scene? Can you pinpoint out some of the new artists? Do you like uh, in the London scene? I don't know. The, the only sort of artists I can think, of, you know, from the from a breakbeat point of view, like there's these young guys called the Breakfasters, and they're coming up and they they're doing some really good material. And there's another guy called Napster or Nap that's doing some good material. But um, I mean, I can only really talk from the break scene that I'm involved in. Yeah, That's yeah. the music that I, I'm into. I mean, you know, there's obviously other arts, can, you know, other peers in my scene. Mm -hmm. But um, as far as new guys, they're, you know, okay. guys to look out for, mm -hmm. sort of on, on an underground tip. Uh, do you got enough, uh, I don't know, you got your own studio or do you got enough rehearsal space? I don't know. Yeah, no, we have our own studio yeah, we make our music from, so we don't have our own rehearsal studio. <laughs> no, 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 no. You have to have a big space for that. Yeah, yeah, okay. And uh, do you still, uh, like, do remixes for other, for art other artists? Yeah, we've just done a remix for MC Tarly, who's, um, she's signed to uh, Full Cycle. I think she oh, signs full, so she's part. You know, she does stuff with Ronnie Size. Okay. She's had an album. We just done a remix of a song called Airport Lounge, okay. and um, I think our mix is fat. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it sounds good. And is there actually a difference between making a record and doing remix? I guess it is. Yeah, I mean, there's you know, with a remix, you're kind of halfway there because you have a vibe already. You know, like with the vocal or. Or what have you, but um, when you're making your own music, it is completely, you know, it's starting from scratch, there's nothing there, you're yeah. just, you know, you're making something from nothing, you know. Mm -hmm. There's something that also struck me is that most songs are like five, six minutes. Yeah. Was it because it uh, yeah. clocks like around 69 yeah. uh, minutes? It's well, it's, well, it's all right, it's you're getting value for money. <laughs> yeah, that's true, that's true. I mean, the thing is, a lot of the tracks are, you know, we, we myself and Matt, we make records aiming at clubs. Mm -hmm. So we kind of, uh, um, you know, so for a club environment, they, you yeah. know, they've got, I mean, they're sh the club, the 12 inches are still a bit longer, but we kind of design them as club 12s. I mean, you know, I mean, I don't really sort of, um, I don't think we've ever made real sort of seven inch, three minute, albums of single you know okay. what i mean when do you choose for uh, putting a vocal on it because some tracks yeah. are vocals yeah, i mean i don't know sometimes you can tell we kind of from doing it from experience really but i think um sometimes you can know when you can just like obviously like you mentioned the slammer earlier yeah. i think with such a heavy bass line and and the beats and everything you can continue it as doing an instrumental yeah. whereas you know obviously push up um although the music sounds great i think mm. with the song on top it sounds even better so it kind of completes the whole yeah. picture i uh, get a life as well again it's kind of although it's got a really interesting bass line it sounds you know better with a vocal on it um mm. and um I, you know it's just different tracks you know? yeah and uh, where do you get the guys is just through uh, networks or where do you get the vocalists i guess tr yeah, just through just contacts I mean, uh honorly who's Again, part of from from size. yeah, Ronnie's size. We're managed by the same manager, okay. so we finished the backing track, and he thought it sounded like it might suit our quirky style. So uh, mm -hmm. we basically sent off to her, and then um, she came back. We really liked what she did on that. Um, again, Theo has mentioned like they yeah. through a publisher. Julie's actually some girl I kind of met, and um, who sings on a couple of tracks. Mm. And uh, million down, yeah. It's just kind of I don't know. You kind of fall into yeah. it. It's kind of sometimes it's a nice way rather than okay, you're going to work with this one. You're going to work with it. You know, it's oh. like you know, it's sort of spontaneous. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay. And and um, can you tell something about uh, because when I look at the artwork, uh, who's that guy actually? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They just got some guy who's obviously like a kind of. A model. I mean, we're just sort of a classic model, but yeah, yeah, yeah. no. And it, I mean, what happened was with the artwork. Originally, the guy came up with a kind of bog standard graph sort of looking. We just didn't want that. It didn't really fit the name Raw as fuck. And then he kind of went away. We said no, it's not good enough. Then he went away and then came up with the idea of kind of like a um, Fight Club kind of look. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of got that tinted green, kind yeah. of dark, quite eerie. 
yeah. quite raw as fuck looking, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah. Why raw as fuck? What's that? Why raw as fuck? I don't know. I mean, uh, raw, I, don't, I mean, me and Matt aren't great at coming up with names, but I think raw as fuck is like an English expression to describe something you've seen, like a film or a style of music oh, or... Okay. You know, people say, oh, that's fat as fuck, or raw as fuck, or that's uh, fucking amazing, yeah. or whatever, you know. You can you can swear on uh, national TV. <laughs> uh, Radio. No, yeah, in England, it'd be all blips by now. Oh, it'd be like, okay. beep, beep, <laughs> beep, beep. Uh, push up, yeah, it, it's a big hit, I guess. You're very satisfied with it, I guess. So? With push, uh, push up. Yeah. It's uh, also in the Netherlands, uh, it's yeah, very it's, big. It's, it's been, uh, uh, it's, it's gone massive in, in yeah. Holland, apparently, and... And uh, in Belgium and um, UK. Spain, UK, it's been a hit in the UK. In Australia, it's massive. Um, in Japan, I think it's gonna. You know, I think generally. I mean, we haven't got a deal yet in America, but I mean, if it goes off everywhere, I mean, it's like you know, it's. Mm. Hope it'd be nice if it did well in America. I believe it could go because it's different. But again, it's like they'll relate to it over there. Yeah. I think it's a you know a good. It's it basically it's turned into a really good radio record, which is yeah. you know. I guess because of the vocals, it's yeah, got a little bit yeah. soul in it. And, yeah, and yeah. you know, and plus it's got a fat clubby beat to it, so you know. So it's lots lots of touring, I guess. Uh, yeah, I mean this summer, I mean I'm pretty much most yeah. weekends either DJing or with the band, and mm. um, you know it's, we're doing a show tonight in Amsterdam, mm. five days yeah. off, and then we're coming back at the end of. August to do Lowlands, yeah, so yeah. Nice. Is, it, is it then with a live band or? Yes, yeah, with a band, okay. yeah, yeah. What, what what is it like? It's just yeah, I guess a live band with. Well, the live band is like we have a drummer, bass player. Like I do like the scratching keyboards. There's an MC and a singer. Okay. Um, uh, with uh, basically this time I haven't brought the Theo who sings Push Up. Yes. <coughs> no, I haven't. No, oh, I haven't. No. But with for Lowlands, I'm oh. going to be bringing. Um, Theo, because I know it's the biggest show, but the girl who's Julie, she's brilliant. She just, you know, she sounds really good on top of it anyway. So, okay. but Lowlands, Theo is there. Theo's going to come oh, to Lowlands, okay. yeah. Okay. Is he actually assigned already no, to he's another? Not no, he's not signed to anyone. Oh, okay. So, but he's working on his own sort of material. And mm -hmm. I'd like to think I can do something with him in the future. Yeah. So, you know, he's got a great voice. So. <laughs> Uh, what do you think about the, the whole internet thing, also the downloading and that kind of stuff? Do you see it as a positive thing, negative? I don't know. How do you think? I think what's happened is obviously uh, originally it started off as quite a negative thing. And I still think it is pretty bad because the fact it's scary that mm. lots of people just download shit and just don't really... It's like going into a record store and, you know, if I went into like an HMV and nicked five albums or whatever, you know, you get put in prison you know what yeah, i mean it's true. it's exactly the same thing all you're doing is you're not nicking a physical object yeah. with a cover and a, and a sleeve um i think i think it will level off in the future i hope um and it is quite good for sort of up and coming producers and people making music basically you're just um you know you'd be able to sell i could finish a tune on monday and sell it it can be online yeah. by tuesday miss out the middleman so i'm making the money direct and you know kids aren't as fussy about looking at good artwork and stuff like that. they just want to hear the music so basically it's just going to be uh there's going to be no expenses really apart from maybe setting up your own website and so the money you know you're going to be making possibly more money i mean as far as i know your internet selling on the internet is it doesn't you know i think saying like 19 not even a pound or so. I don't yeah, know. It's yeah. not. It's not. You know. You're not paying that much money yeah, for it as well. It's a success. Like iTunes is a yeah. big success. Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. Um, but I think it's like you know when, you know when uh, what was it? First when vinyl came in and then there was tape. Yeah. You know, and then probably there was a whole big thing about tape. Oh, you can tape the records. You know, have to buy. You know, you can yeah. take it and then see. Do you know what I mean? So just it will just yeah. If they think it will level off and it will just yeah. sort itself out. It's like. Anything, anything media-wise gets hyped up out of proportion, and but it is quite, you know, it is dangerous, and it is, it is the first time to think that it is so accessible. Okay, okay. and you've did it with Royal Fox, so thank you very much uh, for your for your time. Well, thank you. Please enjoy it. <laughs>